better with an outline. Uh, if the guy was stationary, the guy stationary right here, uh, you can do an aura by maybe going to, I guess, outwards would be fine. Uh, you can do directional and have the direction come forward, and it makes it look bigger. Like that. You know, this looks really cool if it was an outline. I should say, here, let me go ahead and set it up. I'll pause it and set it up for an outline because you already know how to do all that. Okay. So now I changed him to outline. You know, as you can see, it looks much cooler with an outline uh, rather than a full body. Much cooler looking. Outline always works better. Um, okay, now just see how it looks there. Basically, what I did was, you know, all I did was add the outline, of course. And, you know, we'll start with a low velocity on here so you can kind of see. It's just, you know, standard outline, right? If you increase the velocity so the stuff comes forward, you know, that's one way to do it. It makes it look like it's bigger. All right? So it kind of creates an aura behind him. You know, this would work much better if the guy was stationary and you just wanted an aura behind him. But I'm just kind of showing you the idea. Then you can change the directional spread a little bit. Let's just give it some directional spread. And it even adds a cooler look. So if he was just, picture this guy just sitting there. You know, I, I mean, I wish I could get closer. Now watch off of his head. You know, if you can kind of see that. What will happen, if this guy was just stationary, you can kind of see it's puffing off of him and fading away because we have our life per second really short. And all these all these motions, and since we had the directional spread to mix it up a little bit, they're all coming off at him at different rates, but they're only lasting at 0.5. So this would be a really good aura to get behind him. I mean, just look at that. That's, that's cool just alone, just the way it is. You know, of course, we can do the uh, do the run deal. You know, just by doing that. I mean, that's it's just wicked, uh, the kind of things that you can get. Add some more. How many? All right, I only have 30 for that. So you can go with, like, a lower... I mean, I like doing it this way. I like having the, you know, because that, that just looks wicked to have that do that. We can go with more particles even if we want, or less particles, obviously. So, you know, it really kind of depends. And you can even go with an outwards. And outwards even looks cool, too. Uh, especially for aura. That seems to work good for auras, too. Just setting it to outward. Set this to, put this one back to zero, and the velocity, you know, because this, this one really mixes it up, as you can see. See how all over his, all over his areas, they're like shooting out all over, the outlines are shooting out in all different uh, directions. You know, that, that looks really cool. You know, that, that's really the coolest way to do the aura, just because you're mixing them up and stuff. I mean, look at it. It's shooting out like a little ghostly uh, effect all over the place. All right, so, you know, that. let me set up another thing real quick. Let me see if I can bring in my daughter's uh, picture because she's more stationary, and this way you can kind of see that effect too. Okay, so now we got my daughter here, and she's a little bit more stationary, so we can kind of see how things will look. So what we're going to do is... We can change the, right now we have a very slow velocity. We can kind of crank this up a little bit if we want, but we'll, let's leave it at 20 for now. And change our directional spread, not the directional spread. Um, I guess we'll leave that there. Maybe random, set the random up. Oop, not that much. We'll turn the random distribution up to 5. And we'll change the random so it, you know, randoms up a little bit. This one's only going to be up a little bit, so. Now, as you can see, it's fading out, seeing it's creating the, you know, an effect before she even moves. It's creating the flow off of her before she even starts going. 
Now let's see. I don't know if I'll be able to get closer here. And then let's get to a point to where she's kind of turning. Because we want to kind of get this to flow outward. You can go with, I mean, if the outwards is not working good for your particular scene, uh, maybe add a little bit more life to it. You know, just to get it. And then, of course, the velocity. We'll have to turn back down. Whoop. I want that velocity at 20. So I like, kind of like that number for this. And we'll just go with the smaller one since we have the cam recorder going on. See, you know, that gives you the idea of, you know, what I'm trying to do here. You can definitely get the aura effect just by doing this. Um, I'm going to go with the directional too. Let's see if we can get even a neater look. Uh, change the directional spread. We'll change that out a little bit. We'll set it, uh, let's try putting this to 90. I don't know if that's going to work good for this one. You know, it depends. Now she kind of flows this way, so you may want to change the direction the other way. You know, this way, we have the direction flowing out this way. Right? And crank our velocity back. And our life per second, keep in a little bit more there. Right, you have the velocity flowing out this way. We're like right here on her arm. Okay, I'm trying to get find a still part. Right, she's pretty much still here, but you can see the stuff's still flowing out, right? And then when the direction changes, if you want, you can flow the direction backwards the other way, just like we did in the, the run, the run, running guy. Just flow the direction the other direction on the negative side and then the the particles will flow out that way so this way you get a cooler you know kind of cooler look and you know, you know you don't you can also just go ahead and do the um the longer life per second and just to see how it winds up looking you know get like, do the run trail uh deal let me go ahead and uh, change that velocity because I'm still working with a high res. I just scaled it down, so it's not a f actual full, a small res. See how the particles are kind of floating off of her just by because I changed the direction. Out, you know, it's, they're flowing off like that. You know, she didn't normally flow that go that way. If I didn't have any direction or any uh, velocity on there, it would just go with her. See like that so it pretty much looked like a standard echo effect like that but since we had the velocity and like I said change it up change the velocity up go on the negative side animate it over time depending on the direction the character's going and you'll get a cool you'll get a better look it flows off that way and then of course when she you know when like this way obviously you'd want to go in this way and then and when she goes this way you may want to switch it over um, not you don't you got to be careful on the direction though and switch it off this way so it flows the other way so and then of course you can also change the direction this way on the negative 90 on negative 90 and then you know that swaps it the other way so you know it's really going to depend every scene is going to be completely different uh, depending on um, uh, the motion that the character's doing, but I'm just trying to show you every possible configuration, you know, so uh, I don't have to do another run trail <laughs> tutorial. I just really want to get all these different uh, little things out. But you know, this I love using trap code for this because you know this when you know you sit and really play with it, especially with the third res. The third res, uh, Lucian. Uh, version works even better because the outlines wind up being fatter when you scale them up and they're more distorted so that even helps especially when you go to do the displacement and especially when you add the vector blur first that looks really cool when you add the vector blur um, maybe I can show you an example of that uh, let me bring that in I'll just bring that in I'll pause it and I'll bring it in and show you a rendered version I already did. 
Alright, hopefully this plays. I know it's only 15 frames per second in this uh, stupid...